Welcome back team, I'm Juliet and today we're doing 40 minute full body Pilates with circle. This is all level workout guys and I will guide you through all the modifications you need. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe team and hit the bell button everyone so you never miss your daily workout. That's going to be challenging, get ready, set your commitment and let's crush this workout together. All right, guys, so let's begin today standing and we will begin right away with our circle. So let's begin, feet, hips width apart and go ahead and take your circle all the way up, lengthening through that spine, pull the belly in, pull the navel in and gently go to your first lateral bend today. It doesn't have to be a deep one, we're going to do a few, just try guys to go straight through the side and all the way on exhalation to the other side keep pressing both feet into the floor really really firmly and a couple more times one from each side this time go a little bit deeper if you can excellent and one more time towards the left all the way on exhalation arms guys directly up and over above that ear all the way back great job Let's try to catch our first balance. So go ahead and lift up on those heels. Breathe, the inhalation, exhalation, all the way. Heels back and gently wire the breath by wire the breath, guys. Pull the navel in, scoop the belly. You don't have to touch the floor with that circle. If you can, that's great. If not, don't worry about it right now. Take it all the way back, reach up and over. We're catching up on the balance. And on exhalation, guys, all the way, forward fold. Stay strong. You can touch the floor, it's great. If you can't, that's great as well. That's how we treat it. We've been in the process, right? The result will come. Come on up again, guys, up and over on your toes. Breathe, good job. Go ahead and slowly bring your heels on the floor. Pivot on the one side, reach open straight express through the ribcage take it back all the way guys up on your toes and catch that balance pivot all the way to the other side express through the ribcage and collarbones take it back to the front great job bring the circle up right up front of your chest do not lean back come on up with me on your tippy toes Hold it, we're gonna go for dynamic squats. And eight, good job. Seven, very good. And six, guys, knees following the toes. Five, breathe, inhalation through the nose, exhalation through the mouth. However, I want you to breathe. Do not hold your breath. Don't think too much about your breathing. Just breathe, guys. We need to breathe. We need an oxygen for this workout. All right. One more. We're going to hold it together, guys. Seven, six, five. Weight away from the knees. Four, three, two, and back up all the way. We're going to step wider with our feet, more like a plie squat. We're going to start with eight, just pushing the circle forward. Tailbone right in between the heels. One, two, three, guys, you've got it. Four, knees following the toes, five, and six, and seven, and eight. Hold it, guys, seven, six, stay with me, nice and low into that plie squat, into the legs. Four, three, two, and up. We're going to go for another eight this time. Just put your hands nice and flat. Don't squeeze it too much. We're going to go push and squeeze. That's going to be challenging. We go one. Back, plie squat, straight arms. Two. I want you guys to work through your upper arms. Three. That's not your wrist, which is squeezing that circle. Four. Right on the level with your chest, guys. Five, good job. My circle is 
six medium resistance there are some which are super challenging and some which are really light you don't want to use those those makes not much not much sense for this workout it has to be at least a medium resistance one more guys hold with me eight seven stay in your plea yes six i want you to use guys your shoulders and your upper arms and your chest four three two one excellent job take it back you're going to take this circle on the side of your hip where the good steady position again try not to hug it too 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 tight with the fingertips because you're going to be starting using your wrist a lot i don't want you to do that so we're going to go plie and using one arm and go guys eight plie a little bit deeper seven and six use the upper arm shoulder five four that's very good three and two attention we're gonna stay in the plie squat and hold guys pump eight seven six this arm is gonna feel it four three two one proud of you we're gonna do exactly the same for the other side so find a good spot solid spot on the side of your hip and we're gonna go for another set of the plies and arm work and go guys one that's it two you've got it and three use the upper arm and shoulder guys do not use your wrist too much wrist is just an assister there it's there to help you to push and squeeze these guys following the toes on the way up also squeeze those glutes guys all the way squeeze the glutes all the way squeeze the glutes and hold it and pump guys eight seven six five four three two one excellent work guys good job we're gonna go ahead and move towards the end of our mat we're gonna be ready for our walk out with a circle in a second but let's first practice some balance and core work so you're gonna come and bring your circle all the way to the front reach your one knee up try not to lower your circle hold it circle on the level with your chest and we're gonna do our best to touch good work touch if you cannot touch just don't lower don't level the, lower the circle just extend it like where you can good work this is four keep the body up and tall three good work we have only couple left stay with me two a lot of core work and one excellent that was something we will continue to work on this leg and it almost looks like a little bicycle all the way scoop and lift and scoop and lift the circle is for purpose of holding those arms straight and body engaged scoop and lift we have four guys four and three and two and one take yourself all the way back hover right above the floor 90 degrees if you can take it back to your knee lift beautiful hover all the way 90 degrees above the floor don't drop the shoulders all the way knee lift guys touch the floor with the back foot if you have to all the way come on back up we have only four to go guys all the way hover find the balance all the way knee lift i know i'm feeling it all the way hover good work don't drop the shoulders abdominal wall in focus guys on centering breathe right through the center activate the core activate the center brace your abs and you're gonna have a good balance in this exercise beautiful take it back we're going to repeat the same three exercises from the other side so circle guys up front it doesn't have to be a full touch if you can't but i don't want you to bend forward stay nice and tall and one that's a challenge 
two, three, four, good work, stay tall, stay tall, five, six, seven, and eight, good work, all the way back, this next exercise, our single leg bicycle, so just keep your core braced, arms nice and strong, lift the knee, and scoop, and lift, and draw, and lift, guys, and draw, exhalation, and in, and out, we have four left, and reach knee high, three left, reach knee high, two, and high, ooh, ooh, ooh. and one, and lift, all right, get ready, challenge is coming, okay, 90 degrees if you can, tap your back, leg on the floor if you have to, guys, knee lift, good, conquered one, and two, beautiful, take it back, and three, guys, a lot of work, focus on the centering, control your movements, precision, know where you're going, guys, right? Work your body, all, your, all of your body parts. Keep the body engaged. Concentrate, guys, on your breathing, on your, on your movements. Stay present in your workout. Breathe, of course. And we flow. We try to move gracefully. One movement flows into another. We have only one last one. This is our six Pilates principles. We always apply to this type of the workouts. Come on back. Beautiful, guys. That was very challenging. Put that circle all the way in between those legs, just like that. And we're gonna go and squeeze that circle with the squat. So feet hips width apart, arms to the front or on the side of your body, on the waistline in squeeze it guys in up in squeeze in up squeeze the inner size squeeze the glutes squeeze the inner size squeeze the glutes in three up two up one more in up beautiful we're going to move this circle towards our ankles we did practice this exercise for a few times so far so you might need to do an extra adjustment on the height of the circle in between the ankles if you will find that it's bumping the floor so go ahead with me one two three guys touch walk five six seven eight squeeze the circle with your ankles let's go eight seven six Five, you're working in your side. Two, four, three, two, and one. Come on back up. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven. Let's go. Down, two, three. You've got it. Focus on the quality. Good walks. Now, wrist, elbow, shoulders stacked. We're going to rock on the one side. And ready, squeeze. Eight seven six five four three two one you are my superstars don't hurry up all the way back hold the control on the core and rock on other side beautiful get ready one two three four five six seven eight even it looks like you're moving pushing the circle through the ankles but it's a lot of the inner thigh and good work come on back up Reach all the way up. Grab your one wrist. Good quality straight. Grab your another wrist. Good quality straight. We're walking back, guys, to the plank. Touch the floor. Let's go. One, two, three, and four, guys. From here, we're just holding our plank for eight counts, guys. Eight, seven, six. Squeeze that circle a little bit. Five four, three, two, and one. So let's put our knees on the floor. Take your circle, guys, up front. 
We're gonna do some arm work and then we're gonna put circle away for a few until we sit back. So put your palm right on top, guys, right on top on the circle and we're ready to push. Make sure that arm almost straight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, press and hold, guys. Eight, seven, six, five, four, tighter, 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 and all the way up. Today we're gonna take it all the way across, but your other wrist elbow shoulders stay dry, stay right on top each other. Straight arm, pull the navel in, eight, seven, six, guys, five, four, and three, and two, press and hold, guys. Press and hold from entire upper part of that arm in your shoulders. Three, two, one. You've got it. We're gonna go to the other side. So make sure that that extended arm on the side is almost straight. Raise elbow shoulder here. Stack one on top another. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Push down and hold, guys. Press it nicely. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna take that all the way, 45 degrees, but to the other side. That's gonna work at different parts of that arm. Ready? Pull your navel in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Press and hold. Guys, use that arm strength. Four, three, two, and one, all the way back. So proud of you. We will continue to work a little bit more our arms and our chest. So your elbows outside, guys, and I want you to use your pictorials all the way. You ready? Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, all the way. Don't hug the circle with fingertips too much. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and squeeze and hold, guys. Eight, seven, hold with me tighter, use the arms, use the chest. You got it, all the way. Now, we will incorporate some legs. You're gonna tuck the toes, make sure you not squat. You lean back using the strings of your quads, core, and glutes. On the lean back, you're gonna squeeze the circle. On the way back, you will release it. We have only eight. Stick with me, we do it together, let's go. Doesn't have to be super low, right? Try not to squat, guys. Use the core strings, use the leg strings, and squeeze, come on, back up. Release, good work, guys, come on. Squeeze, breathe, release. On exhalation, go back, exhalation. Squeeze, use the chest, use the arms. Do not squat, guys. Keep the long neutral spine. Squeeze it. All the way, guys. Come on, Sim. Squeeze it. You got it. Stay with me. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Beautiful. Come on. Squeeze it. We have only one more and we're gonna stay here. I know. Let's go activate the quads, glutes, and Abs, squeeze and hold, eight, seven, six, hips up and forward, four, three, two, one. My quads are screaming. All right, good work, guys. Come on down. We're gonna put that circle just for a few minutes. Outside, we're gonna go for the rollovers without circle, and then we're gonna grab our circle back, guys. So for your rollovers, if you are a beginner, you will take your feet up, rather than rather than take them all the way behind the head. If you are with me, we go. You can also bend your knees if you absolutely need it. And touch, guys. This is a great core exercise. Back, down, on the floor. Seven. On exhalation, guys. All the way, leave those legs from the center. Watch your backs, guys. Back on the floor. Reach all the way. On the way up, guys, you never want to bring your weight into your neck. All the way back. Come on, team. 
up. This is number four. Don't throw your legs. Lift with control. Use your second Pilates principle. Control, guys. All the way. Breeze and flow all the way down. Almost there. Keep on working, guys. All the way. Top your feet or don't top your feet. Go halfway through. Good job, guys. All the way back. We have two left. Stay with me. All the way back. Good work. Come on back up. Last one. Come on up all the way. And this is where we're gonna come up to the next exercise after we do the roll ups with a circle. So put your glutes out, sit nice and comfortable and nice and leveled on your bottom. Go ahead and grab the circle. Your circle is gonna follow the center, guys, of your body. Once we come on top, you're gonna give it a good squeeze. And that's gonna be hard because when the circle overhead, you don't have so much leverage, but try to use your upper arms. So hold that circle. Back, beginners, you can bend your knees always on your roll-ups. Come on up, one, two, three, start to squeeze, four, squeeze it, five, six, seven beautiful up two three overhead guys squeeze back two three release up two three guys overhead squeeze five six my superstars come on don't quit up two three give it a good squeeze five six seven halfway through up two three good quality squeeze five six seven and back three left don't throw that upper body up use the center all the way through guys up two three in squeeze five six seven release last one push it through team one two three and squeeze it beautiful take it back on the floor for the next couple minutes we're gonna go back to our back. From here, guys, remember, we're gonna go roll over, sit up in a teaser position or half teaser position, whatever you can do with bend your knees. If you can do it, just, come, just repeat the exercise we did before, roll over and just bring your legs up towards the ceiling. And go. That's gonna be challenging. Building the strings, guys. Bend your knees if you have to. Reach and up. Good job, guys. Back down. All the way. Watch your shoulders, watch your neck. Reach, lift. Beautiful. All the way. Back, roll, lift. Good job. Come on, guys, keep on working. I know how challenging it is. We're doing it together. Lift. We have a sphere. You can bend your knees and top your feet, guys, on the floor any time you need like this right come on all the way on exhalation coming up you've got it only two left only two left come on all the way up over reach one more over back reach perfect guys super challenging you're gonna take your circle Bring it in between those knees slightly above the knee bones on the soft part. We're gonna go for the reverse tabletop together. Try to lift all the way up towards the neutral line, wrist elbow shoulder, very close or exactly one on top of another, guys. On the way up, you're gonna be squeezing that circle and squeeze it back. Seven, back, six, you got it. Five. All the way. Four. And three. And two. We're gonna stay up and hold. Up and hold. Pump it. 16, 15, 14, 13. All the way. Pump it. Pump it. Pump it. Hold it. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Use the inner size, outer size. All the way. Squeeze and hold. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. 
take it back. So proud of you guys. Go ahead and put your feet on the floor. Raise your toes. We're gonna be working on the center. I want to see quality rotation from your sweet spot, guys. If you don't feel your abs and center, you're not working it. If you feel your neck and your shoulders, that's where your retention. You have to move it towards the center. Scoop the belly in. It's gonna be all different for all of us. I'm gonna be higher, so I'm gonna be lower. Elbows out, arms in circle, following the center of your body. Let's go. One, two, three, guys. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Take your right leg. Seven, six, five, four, three, or hold the both feet on the floor, guys. Eight, seven, rotation, center, center, Four, three, two, one, bend your knees. You've got it. You're gonna take your circle up above your head. We're gonna do double leg crunches in the seated position. Try to expand a little bit farther. Circle, touching your ankles. In, squeeze it, crunch. A little bit farther. Squeeze it, crunch. A little bit farther. Scoop the belly, back. Touch, crunch, in, back. Touch, crunch, in, back, guys. Only four left. Only three left, I know. Two, only left. Last one, you conquer it. Good work, everybody. We're gonna go ahead and move on our belly. This is the last exercise with your circle today. So we're gonna lay down up here. It can be so far, it can be too close. It's in a good position where you can have your arms straight, legs on the floor, and we're gonna be pushing and pressing on top. Don't hug that circle. I want you to use, guys, upper arms and part of your back. Ready? Don't squeeze the neck as well. And go. Eight, seven, six, five. Use the arms, use the arms, use those arms, use those arms. Press and hold, guys. Eight, seven, Get into the back and upper arm. Six, five, four, three, two. We're gonna go nice and slow. One more round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, up. Not all the way, guys. Do not open up that circle all the way. Keep some resistance going and push, push, press, hold. Up, up, halfway only. Go, guys, push. Seven, six, five, four, three. Active back, active arms. And hold, guys, hold with me. Four, three, two, one. Take it all the way back, circle away. We're gonna work today our skydiver and aeroplane at the same time. So you're gonna bend your legs, feet up toward the ceiling. Go ahead and extend those arms, guys. And we're gonna start up here from the skydiver. Reach, back, up, release. Reach, back, skydiver, forward, release, guys. Squeeze the glutes, reach. Skydiver, back, release. Reach, skydiver, back, release. Reach, open, back. Together, guys. Don't quit. Open this your back, this your glutes, this is your arms. All the way back. Last one, guys. Last one. Together with me. Back. Open. Rest. Good work. We have one more set. Almost the same, but we're gonna open our arms from skydiver to the aeroplane. Very challenging exercise for your back. Try to hold the glutes always connected. Bend your knees, feet up, flex your feet on the skydiver position, and let's go. Up, open, back, you've got it. Two, open, back, work it, good, together, four, wonderful, come on guys, five, knees a little bit higher on the floor if you can, if you can, we keep trying all the way to left come on guys finish strong all the way last one work it guys all the way up open back head on the arms 
Good job. We're gonna go ahead and do a quick swimmer, just the legs today. We did work plenty of upper body and we still have a side plank left. So I want your arms to be ready for the side plank and obliques work. So go ahead and start to kick, guys. That kick comes from the glute. Comes from the glute, guys. Keep working. 16, 15, all the way. Keep kicking. Straight legs, guys, and legs are super engaged. Super engaged. Eight left. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on up with me. All the way. Let's counter stretch it. Round that spine. Relax your neck all the way. Drop the head. Good work. All right, it's time for the side planks. We're gonna do four exercises on each side. And in between, we're gonna do the tricep push-up or just a plank hold or tricep push-up on your knees, guys. Come on up. We will start with the top arm to the top leg crunch. Let's go one, two, three, four, Five from the center, from the center, and two, and one, guys. Good job. Second exercise, we're still standing right here. I told you it's gonna be challenging. Hip dips, you can do it on your forearms, but the most important thing, guys, I'm looking from you is this is the hip dip. And it's happening from the center and hips. Your shoulder is not involved. Your arm is, of course, strong and holding it but you have want you to dip with the hip and use the strength of the center of your body to lift it back come on guys all the way you've got it all the way we have last one last one good job come on back and send your hips on the floor third exercise here is going to be elbow shoulder one on top another if you can't hold your legs straight for the balance Move them slightly to the front. That's gonna help you not to be shaken. And we're gonna go slide, kick flex, top, back. Slide, flex, back. Kick, flex, slide, guys. Try to use from the center. Up, flex, slide. Point, flex, slide. Point, flex, slide. Point, last one, flex, and slide. Good work. From here, we're gonna go back to our side plank and we have eight rotations. Do it, guys, on your forearms if you have to and put the knee on the floor. I want to see the two rotation when you touch all the way behind. Oh, one, two. And three, all the way, guys. <sighs> Only four to go. Up here, three. Full rotation through the obliques. And back, plank, guys. You're gonna do your tricep push up on your knees, on your feet, or you're gonna hold just the plank. Let's start on the feet for intermediate and advanced. We're gonna move on the knees after that. One, two, three. Go on your knees, four, five, six, all the way, all the way. Good work. Come on back up. We're gonna do a turn around. Do the same four exercises for our center and core from the other side. Stay committed, guys. First is a top arm to top leg crunch. Let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, good work guys, seven, I know you're tired, and eight, all right, forearm will count from the hips and obliques, one, thrust, don't use the shoulder too much, two, not here, up here, three, up here on your obliques, four, five, six, you can do it, seven, and eight. Put your hips on the floor. We're gonna go slide and kick. So find your good alignment, elbow and shoulder. 
If you need to move your feet to the front for more stability, do it. And we go, slight, flex, point, slight, flex, all the way, slight, point, actually flex up here, then slide, point, then flex, to target the inner side, point, flex, slide, point, flex, slide, point, flex, we have one more, slide, point, with your shoulders, guys, flex, slide, I know that arm is tired, we will do it together, we're gonna go for rotations, come on up on the position, guys, give me eight quality rotations, we go under, and up, all the way, through the obliques, guys, three, four, keep on breathing, five, six, you're almost there, seven, and eight, I am so, guys, proud of you, come on down with me, we're going to finish this workout with a good quality straighting, so go ahead and find your way to your marmate when you're one leg one foot up front another behind we're gonna go for the few quality stretches through the lateral bend and reach up and over bend that elbow reach up and over stretch that spine reach up and over all the way and reach up and over other side the same position on the legs reach four three two and one all the way take your boss feet up front into the diamond position and we're going to fold forward if your body allows you if not stay up and tall hinge through the hips four three two we're gonna go back to the diamond for a couple more stretches after we switch our mermaid pose take your hand make room for the elbow to bend in one good quality dynamic stretch two set left arm up and over all the way guys three all the way and four switch the direction one right arm up and over two and three Finish strong in four. You've got it. Back to the diamond pose. All the way. We're gonna take our hand outside and look externally from one side. Lengthening, guys, that spine. All the way, look above the shoulder. Tall, extended back. Go all the way to the other side. Reach, drop the shoulders, lift the heart. All the way, look above the other shoulder. Keep imagining that spine growing up and tall. Take it all the way back, guys, to the center. Let's go ahead and come on our knees. We're gonna do a few back bends. So take your hand on opposite heel or the same one, or use the blocks if you have some, and push the hips up and forward. Chest up and lift it, guys. Three, two, one, all the way back. Do it from the other side. The same heel or the opposite if you can reach. Arm up and over, hips forward. Try to square, guys, those hips. All the way, big quality stretch. Four, three, two. Take it back all the way. Take your one leg up front. Front knee above the front ankle. Reach arms up, take your right above the right shoulder, left under knees. See if you can reach the shoulders. If not, don't worry about it. And fold slightly forward to make sure that that spine is long and extended. Come on back up. We're gonna do the same side, the same exercise on the other side, front knee above the front ankle, back knee far away, so you can have a good hip flexor straight, overall good leg straight, and take your left, guys, Above the left, right, if you followed me, under knees. If you can connect, use the short, use the towel, and lean slightly forward. Try not to round the shoulders. It's extended back. Four, three, 
to come on back up all the way take it back come on up guys with me step a little bit wider reach grab your bind raise like we did at the beginning all the way good straight take it back other one good job perfect and guys inhalation exhalation tell yourself how well you did today good work everybody if that was your first class with us welcome congratulations and make sure guys to subscribe everyone hit that bell button so you never miss your daily workout team rest well recover well and i will see you all tomorrow